What's up, Bruce? Uh, today we are reviewing uh, this happy box of 2021 Major League Soccer by Tops. And uh, historically, the best pulls out of uh, these boxes were and Team Crests cards. Uh, but uh, somehow uh, this year they were removed from uh, the final checklist. So I'm not sure like if uh, they are there. I haven't seen anything. Uh, on eBay or uh, Facebook. Uh, I really hope uh, that they're there because it's uh, truly a signature of uh, this product. But uh, uh, realistically speaking, uh, uh, even if they're there, our chances of pulling them uh, as high as uh, FC Cincinnati winning the MLS Cup, but uh, a, a much more realistic uh, pull for us would be something like a Caden Clark, a Rocky Cord. Uh, which uh, actually wouldn't be uh, would be a very nice pull for me because he is a, a local a local player for Red Bulls. Actually, uh, this uh, crest patches are still mentioned on uh, the pack with uh, a very very likely odds, but uh, the, uh, with tops. Uh, there have been so many examples that uh, some cards were mentioned on the pack, but it was uh, nowhere to be found in the product, so I'm not 100%. I wouldn't like uh, rely on this uh, too much. And ridiculously, they are called a name patch relief crest patch parallel. Although, like this name play, uh, name plate uh, patch re patch reliques are um, just uh, the uh, patch reliques of. Uh, uh, the name of the player and uh, that is from the back and this uh, from the team logo uh, on uh, on the front so like a p p pretty ridiculous name and also this name uh, uh, played patch relics are really ugly uh, in uh, tops products because uh, instead of cutting uh, each letter into a separate card like it should be done they cut like multiple letters into uh, the same card and then they're like uh, uh, letters are cut like in the middle like looks terrible but uh, uh, let's start uh, with uh, the um, uh, w w with uh, the uh, card design uh, so a pretty usual uh, card design uh, for uh, the flagship tops uh, MLS uh, as uh, I'm not uh, like a huge fan of these white borders as I mentioned like it I make the card uh, look uh, really cheap but what is like stands out uh, uh, this year for me that like card stock is unusually thin like it's uh, it's usually much harder a uh, card stock so mm, yeah that's uh, not a good thing like the deterioration in in the quality and uh, then uh, on the back of the card uh, we have uh, uh, some uh, uh, funny text about uh, the players, so, okay. There are also image uh, variations in uh, this product, so uh, this uh, might not be like too easy to, uh, to find because uh, you really uh, need to catch them by, uh, by your eye. Uh, Nickel Odeiro, a long-term uh, sounder. Uh, or Morgan Salis. Uh, these are retro design uh, parallels every year Tops is putting them but uh, as you can see that uh, in addition to uh, the card stock being low, lower quality also as uh, a centering is a big problem this year because <laughs> this uh, white, uh, right border is uh, uh, so much wider than left border. Oh uh, I, w I wonder if uh, this is like a black parallel, probably no. Mm. Uh, I don't think it's actually a good choice to make uh, these peach prodigies uh, black because uh, uh, traditionally in uh, this Topps flagship MLS, black was the color of uh, one ones But uh, now like uh, you get this false, ex uh, false excitement every time you, uh, you pull something. Uh, this is the first product uh, of the season uh, for the MLS. The second uh, will be Chrome uh, coming out, I think, in uh, in August. And 
uh, that one uh, might have like a stronger a stronger following and uh, a Rodolfo Pizarro I wonder if he's related to Claudio Pizarro probably is like uh, oh no he's not because he, he's like uh, from Mexico and uh, Claudio Pizarro is from uh, Peru FC NYC so my uh, my local team Uh, uh, Justin Maram. Uh, I think uh, he used uh, to play for uh, Columbus Crew for a very long, long time, but now with uh, Real Salt Lake. And uh, Brad Gazin. And uh, Alejandro Pozuelo. Uh, this year, actually, a more interesting uh, variation of this uh, Topps flagship MLS is a retail variation because uh, uh, that uh, part of the product uh, went under uh, a complete uh, uh, experience and a complete uh, renovation. Now, okay, if you make a Team Curta, I would uh, uh, prefer, like, if you could actually see, like, the faces of uh, some players, not only their asses. Not the most fortunate uh, design. Yeah, uh, so uh, this year the retail uh, is completely new and uh, there are icy parallels like uh, a little bit uh, look, uh, look a little similar to uh, 2017 uh, Stadium Club ice uh, retail parallels. But there are also a compl completely separate Uh, parallels in uh, the retail product uh, this uh, year, uh, which ca can only be found in uh, in uh, the retail. So that's uh, that's uh, pretty uh, pretty interesting. And uh, uh, here we get. Uh, uh, I think uh, that's a, a new insert set. Uh, uh, so like flex. Flex of foundation, so probably the, for this foreign uh, foreign players in MLS. Uh, Ola Camara also uh, as just a Miram, like another Columbus screw um, a legend. Um, this like design looks a little bit simplistic to me. Uh, so yeah, just put like the flag and the background can be done like in paint. And uh, I wonder if uh, 22, 22 under 22, if this is, uh, uh, that's also not numbered. So uh, I'm not uh, uh, getting uh, any numbered cards. Uh, like uh, y usually they, they should be like two or three unnumbered cards uh, per box. Uh, last year, uh, there were actually more than that because last year the product was really short printed. Uh, but I don't think uh, that is uh, uh, that is uh, the case this year. Andre Blake, a Jamaican international, and uh, Phila uh, and uh, Philadelphia, a starting goalie for like the past I think four uh, four seasons. Okay, that that's an Austin FC card. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, <laughs> a pretty lol. So there is no team. They at least could take some uh, photo from uh, uh, the team introduction or something like that. But the, uh, of course, I should say that's better than like uh, Cincinnati FC card from two years ago when they put like uh, a completely wrong team on the card, like Lexington. I, th I think it was Lexington FC or something <laughs> like that. But uh, that's a pretty low. Uh, low mark from tops in in general like uh, i'm usually this product was a pretty a solid product uh, not of course in terms of uh, uh, in terms of the return or anything uh, like that but uh, i mean a financial return but like a fun product to open some interesting uh, uh, inserts good designs but uh, this year this year the quality of cards is low the some of the designs like fla uh, 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 flags of foundations are uh, ridiculous. 
like th- th- that's a great like uh, team card. That's like uh, uh, how I would like the team card to look like. I don't understand why they couldn't uh, do it like uh, like this for uh, for every card. And also, this is not very fortunate. The player is looking outside of the outside of the card, so. So uh, no numbered uh, cards uh, so far. It looks uh, like uh, tops uh, have watered down this uh, this product uh, this year. Mm. Anton Tinnerholm, a Swedish uh, defenseman for FC NYC. He's pretty popular with the fans because he stayed with the team for. I uh, rather I think for uh, for four seasons already, but uh, I should say he's not the most reliable, uh, not the re- most reliable defenseman. So, and uh, the first uh, uh, first hit is this Edison Flo- a Flores like uh, again like uh, the the jersey car design is uh, a really weird like with this uh, thick stripe. The relic contain it, yeah. But that's like what Tops always puts, uh, puts on cards. Uh, yeah, the demand for uh, this product uh, is pretty strong. I see that uh, some of the biggest online retailers are selling it for around 120, uh, 20 bucks. Uh, and Team Spirit. Uh, James uh, Sands. Uh, I'm not sh- actually not sure if Sands is uh, the more the best player for the spirit of uh, uh, of FC NYC. Out of current players, I would say like uh, uh, probably uh, Alex, uh, probably Alexander Ring would be the best uh, player who characterizes the spirit of FC NYC. And uh, here comes uh, this uh, Caden Clark uh, uh, Rocky card. So uh, pretty nice uh, that uh, we pulled it. But uh, let's see. Like, um, but unfortunately, it seems to be like uh, a little bit out of not even a little bit. Like the centering is a, like a truly a major problem. So here you can see the right border is much thicker than uh, the left border, and unfortunately, also the edges are not. Uh, not perfect. I also noticed that uh, uh, this year the edges are not as uh, ne- not nearly as good as uh, they uh, usually are. I didn't uh, pay particular attention to that because uh, I usually don't grade cards, but that's another sign of the deterioration of the quality of the product. So, uh, but nice uh, that we pulled uh, pulled uh, this Caden. Yeah, uh, getting Clark, a uh, rookie card, so at least something out of uh, out of this box. And uh, actually, a more Caden Clark is of course um, a very hyped a uh, uh, rookie. Uh, so, um, but uh, I don't think that uh, at least his uh, rookie card. I will uh, maintain its uh, uh, prices um, because of this, pro- but this uh, uh, flagship Tops MLS product is so a uh, highly printed uh, product, uh, and uh, even like last year when when it was really short printed, uh, Daryl Dyke like Rocky Card, I think it's what what it is. It's like fifteen bucks, I think. And uh, here we have this uh, Edison Flores uh, uh, Flex of Foundations mm, card. So, yeah, I was a little bit lucky to get it from uh, my LCS. 
because for 89.95 plus tax, my LCS doesn't follow MLS prices, so didn't know that. They didn't know that it's a hot product. And uh, this is actually a more interesting uh, uh, player, in uh, my opinion, uh, for Red Bulls like uh, John Token, uh, and, uh, because uh, he's actually a local uh, player. I think he's from Chatham, uh, New Jersey. Let me check. Yeah, Chatham, uh, New Jersey. And uh, uh, Red Bulls are actually like a New Jersey team. They're not a New York team uh, because it's pretty... Uh, pretty painful to get to them uh, from uh, the city you need to take path and uh, uh, that station Harrison station like it's uh, sometimes uh, some path trains choose to uh, skip that station so you need actually to go to New York and then like take a cab and uh, the vast majority of fans are also from uh, New Jersey uh, and uh, that's that's why they major uh, major supporters, a group like was named uh, Garden State Ultras, but uh, for some reason, uh, Red Bulls banned it. God, like this looks like childish. Am I like being like too picky, or this design is just like a kindergarten design? Because even I like I, I keep repeating that I was like a D student in arts, but but I could design something like better. At least make like this logo something, this country flag somehow half transparent or something like that. Yeah, and what, and uh, of course Tolkien is uh, not a, as uh, uh, technically skillful as uh, Caden Clark, but uh, uh, he, he had some good, uh, um, I saw some of his games, uh, so, no, actually one game, but uh, he, uh, he was like uh, rather... Uh, rather convincing, uh, uh, convincing player. So, and uh, I always like when like uh, local uh, players actually play for the uh, for the teams. Uh, for, uh, for their teams. So we're not getting any numbered cards unless somehow I'm missing uh, I'm missing them completely. I'll check them like once again, but uh, they should like uh, it looks like uh, this product is really like uh, watered like a uh, watered down to uh, pretty impossible scales. If uh, but that's like characterizes. Uh, the state of the current uh, card collecting so the, uh, the that's how like uh, the uh, bubbles burst like uh, the overproduction starts and then uh, at some point there are too many uh, too many cards and uh, if this like uh, what uh, the, that's an auto that's uh, tenor uh, tenor uh, Tasman never heard about him, but a pretty clean auto. And it's actually, uh, given the recent developments, it's pretty good that uh, we are pulling an auto from uh, this box because, uh, uh, in uh, for example, last year you could just pull all three, um, all three jersey cards, and like uh, which are not from any specific event or, uh, or player or so, but. Uh, yeah, the sticker out of but uh, and uh, I'm not a I'm not like the top player uh, to be honest. No, not even like uh, <laughs> a player I heard about. Although I I watch I watch some MLS uh, MLS games and I like to go to oh I think uh, uh, that's an orange to twenty five. Our first uh, first numbered card. Yeah, 21 out of uh, 25. So, uh, Jonathan Mensa. Uh, I loved uh, going to uh, the MLS games when MLS had more of a stir, uh, more stir power. But uh, now it's uh, 
uh, transitioning uh, heavily into being a purely uh, purely development uh, a, a purely development league, uh, which uh, I find find a little bit uh, uh, boring. Oh, and uh, we pull like the second um, Caden Clark uh, uh, pitch uh, pitch prodigies. Uh, I actually saw like several games of Caden Clark, and uh, yeah, that's uh, he can be very skillful, but uh, he can also be like completely lost. So uh, it's difficult to uh, judge uh, his uh, potential like fully. Uh, can be like uh, uh, can be like great, can be like a bust. And uh, Ali Ednan. I think it's uh, the f f flag of Iraq. Let me. Yeah, Iraq. That's that's correct. Not the most uh, usual. Not the most usual uh, flag, but. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, this. Uh, that's why Tops is it introduced. I think uh, this MLS transitioning into a, a developmental. League is why uh, there are so, uh, tops introduced this uh, pitch uh, is introducing so much of this uh, new sets like 22 under 22 and uh, uh, pitch prodigies and so on and so forth. And uh, the final uh, hit is uh, this uh, a beautiful, beautiful uh, one color a uh, jersey card of uh, Fappy Co. I wonder, is he like from Haiti? I think he's from Haiti, but uh, no, doesn't uh, doesn't tell us uh, tell us anything. So, and uh, Red Bulls uh, team card again. I would pre just prefer a pre-game photo, but uh, I don't know what. Yeah, uh, I would like to prefer an Alex Ring, the long time uh, captain of uh, FC NYC. Uh, my impression of uh, this product this year is more negative uh, than usual. I usually I'm uh, pretty neutral uh, neutral with respect to this tops uh, MLS uh, uh, MLS products uh, because they're reasonably well done. But this year the quality of the cards really went down, um, and uh, also the product uh, seems to be. Uh, uh, really watered down because only one numbered card per box. Usually there have been like three, uh, three or so, and uh, yeah. So I, it's nice to pull uh, this uh, two Kade and Clark uh, rocky cards, uh, but uh, overall a pretty, mm, pretty dull, dull break, I should say.